stranger. I hope there's no danger. You think I'm getting off of my reins. Oh, but I calculate that you're from my state. And though you may think it's strange, I allow us how you're from Texas. You talk the lingo, I understand. I'll bet my tail that you hail from Texas. Cause there's no mistake in the brand. You've got a smile like an acre of sunflowers, and your eyes are a blue bonnet blue. Shake hands as grand you're from Texas, cause I'm from Texas too. Cause there's no mistake in the brand You've got a smile like an acre of sunflowers And your eyes are a blue bonnet blue Shake hands, it's grand, you're from Texas Cause I'm from Texas too all this howling about, Bob. Aren't you wranglers riding fences instead of loafing around here? But boss, ain't you forgetting something? This is payday. Payday? Yes, sir. Payday, huh? <laughs> That's all it is, Bob. <laughs> Thought for a minute you'd forgot us. <laughs> Joe. Right, Joe. Here you are. Curly? Oh, Curly. Dusty. Mm -hmm. Bib? Yeah. Art. All right. Cannonball. Cannonball. I wonder, say, I wonder where that bow-legged toad could be. Come to think of it, he wasn't in the bunkhouse this morning. Oh, <laughs> sure was. When Cannonball misses payday, you can bet your boots he's either up to some more. Oh, here he comes now. That's back a gold mine! You lockhead, you almost missed payday. Payday? Who cares about payday? Woo! Look at here, boy. I'm a millionaire. Have you gone loco? Sure, I'm loco. <laughs> Look at here. Look at here, boy. Where'd you get these? I got them up at Bear Ridge. Boys, let me tell you something. I'm really rich now. Now I can buy me that silver inlaid saddle just like old Hutch Dalton has on his cow. Yay! I'm struck gold. Here, boys, you're here. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. If you don't mind, I'll keep those nuggets for you. What's the matter, boss? I just soon you boys didn't tell anyone about Cannonball's good luck. Or maybe I ought to say bad luck. Bad luck? What's bad luck about striking a gold mine? Oh, striking pay dirt sounds mighty good, but don't forget the misery and the lawlessness that always comes with a gold rush. I know, I was caught in a couple of them. By the minute the word is spread, every outlaw and gambler and grafter will come flocking here, and the first thing you know, the whole community is thick with gun smoke. Oh, gee whiz, boss, I didn't know. Oh, I know, I'd like to be rich too, Cannonball. But you wouldn't want to see the whole country turned into another tombstone of Virginia City, would you? No, boss, but uh, you can't expect Cannonball to pass up a strike like that. I didn't say that he should. All I'm asking you to do is just let it lay until we get a chance to investigate it quietly. Investigate what? Why, the claim. After all, just finding a few nuggets don't mean that you've struck another mother load. Why, you wouldn't want to plunge the whole country into a gold rush until you're sure, would you? Well, oh, if you say so, boss. Can I depend on you boys to keep this a secret? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. All right, yes. then, let's all hit the trail to Crestview for a good time. Let's go. let's go. Ain't that a mess? Well, I might as well finish this bath.
Don't throw that gun. What is this, a holdup? Don't try to jawbone yourself out of this. We caught you red-handed. Sooner we get you down to Crestview, we're going to turn you over to our new sheriff. I guess you'll have to turn me over to me. I'm the new sheriff. Well, well what happened? I guess the driver must have dozed off. I saw him sailing off the box back there when the stage hit a rut in the road. You boys track back and find the driver. I'm Big Bill Bailey, Sheriff. Howdy, my name's Lucky Crandall. Well, I'm glad to know you, Lucky. That's my top hand, Bob Wilson. Hello, Bob. Hello, Lucky. That Popeye army looking cuss there is Cannonball. Howdy, Cannonball. What do you say, Lucky? When you men are all finished with the formalities, would you mind helping me out of here? I'm sorry, I forgot all about you. My name's Lucky Crandall. I'm Madge Duncan. Well, Lucky, I dare say it was lucky for me who ran to stop this coach. Luck's all mine, miss. Wilson's my name, Bob, for short. You gonna stay at Crestview long? I hope so. How do you feel, old-timer? Do you want me to drive? Why, no. That little bump just woke me up. Thanks for stopping my team. It's all right. What's the matter? I must have sprained my ankle when I jumped from the horse to the coach. Don't you think I'd be more comfortable if I rode inside? You don't mind leading my horse, do you? Thanks a lot. Oh. Get it. It's all mine, miss. Where to? My brother brought him to stay at the commercial house. Hotel right over there, ma'am. Thanks a lot. Just a minute, Sheriff. Seeing as how you sprained your ankle, don't you think I better take Miss Duncan over to the hotel? Oh, uh, Crandall, let's walk over to the sheriff's office. How come your brother wasn't oh, here to meet you, ma'am? He doesn't know I'm coming. Surprise party, eh? Duncan, Steve Duncan. Nobody here by that name, ma'am. <laughs> no one here by that name? Well, sis. Steve. Well, hello, sis. How are you, honey? Sorry, ma'am. If you'd have said some Stevens, but I never mind, Elmer. Let's go up to my room, huh? What brings you out here, sis? Steve, what made you change your name to Slim Stevens? Oh, I got in a scrap and fell out gunning for me. I figured it was easier to change my name than to get tangled up in a gunfight. You're not in any trouble. Of course not. Now, tell me all about yourself. Do you have a good trip? More or less. Except for the coach just about being wrecked. If it hadn't been for Sheriff Crandall, I... Crandall? Lucky Crandall? You know him? I've heard of him. Did he come to town with you? Yes, I understand he's going to be the new sheriff. Hey, uh, look, sis, I just remember there's somebody I have to see. Make yourself at home. I won't be very long. Hey, Hutch, a new star packer just came into town. What are you so jumpy about? No sheriff's got anything on us. Well, this one's apt to have if he hangs around here long enough. Well, maybe he won't be here that long, unless he's willing to listen to reason. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Man, look at him. Gosh! Ooh, hey! Keep away from my saddle. Well, I was just looking at your saddle. I told you to keep away, didn't I? Well... All right, sir, but someday I'm going to have me a saddle just like that, but only better, and I... Until you do, stay away from mine.
Where's Cannonball? Search me. Stuff's all in a mess. Oh, leave it later. He gets back. I'm throwing you and your wranglers out of here. Well, that's too bad, ain't it, boy? Yeah. yeah. Sure You're digging for pay dirt, Dalton. You have to strike it. Take it oh, easy, you two. Talking like that will only get you into trouble. That coward can't get away with this. I don't think you'd spout like that if the sheriff wasn't here. I don't need the sheriff or anyone else to take care of this. Now, hold on, fellas. This I've thing... given you just ten seconds to get out of my place. Listen, I don't scare that easy. If he doesn't want you in his place, I don't think you've got any right coming in here and causing trouble. I can take care of myself. Now go on and make your play. You're asking for it. Pick up your gun, Wilson, and get out of here before this thing leads into bloodshed. Now put that gun on ice and keep it there. That quick temper of yours. Listen, the next time I meet that four flusher, my hands are going to be full and smoking. I hope that don't happen when I'm around. Supposing you make yourself clear what side you're on. That's easy. I came to Crestview to enforce law and order and to prevent bloodshed whenever I can. The decent folks brought you here to clean out the lacks of Hutch Dalton, not to side in with him. Look, you'd better watch that hot tongue of yours before somebody crams it down your throat. Maybe you'd like to do it. Maybe I would, except that's not what I'm getting paid for. That badge of yours sure does help you to crawfish, huh? You've been itching for this, and I aim to please you.
Stop it, you fools. What do you aim to prove by beating each other to a pulp? I wouldn't know anything about that, but I guess there's nothing to gain by a fist fight anyway. Well, then shake hands and forget it. Come on, shake hands. Oh, I guess you're right. Come on, boys. Let's go back out to the ranch. Get those nuggets. I ain't talking. Cannonball? Cannonball! Where is he? Darn if I know. Bob, you go look for him. All right. You boys pile that stuff on and tie it down. Tie it down, good and tight. Where's that pearl hair with six sheet he said you had, Slim? What are you doing that for? Never mind the pearl handled gun. Where'd you get those nuggets? Now, listen, now, I can't tell you, and you can't now make do me. do I have to? Now, listen, I promised I wouldn't tell. Maybe this will make you talk. You ready to change your mind? I can't, I tell you, I can't. Slam, open up. What's going on in here? Oh, I don't know. That man acts like he's crazy. Invites me up in the room here to show me a pearl handle six-shooter. Next thing I know, he starts beating me up for no reason at all. Why, right, what's the matter with you? <laughs> Next time, you'll pick on somebody your size. I'm awful sorry about this cannonball. I wish there was somebody I could make it up to you. <laughs> I'm all right, so you mind if I go? Well, of course not. Oh, say, uh, how'd you like to have that silver saddle of mine? Dang thing always needs polishing, so I just about decided to get rid of it. Let you have it dirt cheap. Dirt cheap? What do you call dirt cheap? Oh, uh, say $800. $800? Gee whiz. Take me a whole year to get that much to narrow. But you, uh, you've got those nuggets, haven't you? I can't find that lunk head anywhere. Oh, well, leave his horse here and let's get on back up the ranch. Oh, I'm sorry, Cannonball. You'd uh, have to give me a few more of those before I could trade you. I know, but this was this is all I got. But you uh, you can get more, can't you? Yeah, but I promised Big Bill I wouldn't go near that place. Well, I guess you'll just have to pass up the saddle. It's too bad. Well, look, uh, Miss Dalton, uh, I don't think it'd hurt any if I go dug up a few more of the nuggets. Do you think so? Can't see how it could. You hold that saddle for me, and I'll be right back tomorrow. Yeah? Sure thing. Come on, let's trail him to the strike. Steve. I gotta go out of town, sis. But I want to speak to you alone. I haven't got time now. I'll see you when I get back, huh? Howdy, Chef. See anything in the Bailey outfit? Are you kidding? <laughs> they left town a little while ago. Yes, sir. I gotta get this thing fixed. Howdy, Sheriff. Think you're gonna like it here? Might. Hard to tell yet. Have a drink with us. No, thanks. You know, a smart lawman can do well here, if he plays his cards right. I always try to play my cards right. Well, that's the way I figured it, from the way you handled yourself in the Oasis. Look, one thing we ought to get straight, I play my cards from the top of the deck. The last sheriff here tried to play him that way. Now he's wearing a wooden overcoat in Boot Hill. Yeah? That was the last sheriff. You think you're any different? Maybe you'll find out if you try anything. If you weren't wearing that tin badge, I'd like to find out right now. Help yourself. Ideas, let's get them over with. Yeah, there's plenty of time for that. You ain't so tough when you're picking on somebody your own size, are you?
Come on, let's hurry. He's heading out of town. doing down here? Well, seeing as you didn't lay a mining claim on this ground, we thought we might. Let's get busy. Why, you dirty, clean, jumping crouch. Y'all can't get away with this, y'all. Who says we can't? Come on, now. Come on, y'all. Start hitting the leather, or someone start to grilling you. Come on. Put away that iron before I gun whip you with it. Well, if you say so. We'll file our claim at the recorder's office. Hey, somebody's coming. You must have heard the shot. Like that sucker's plumb empty. Next time, I'll remember to put some bullets in this dead gun thing. <laughs> sure, I'm glad they smacked me. What's up? Oh, nothing. I just uh, took pot shot a couple of buzzers, that's all. A couple of buzzers, huh? Yes, sir. They knock your chin out of joint? Oh. oh, it must be this gun of mine's got a recall and kicks like a mule. Yeah, I'll bet. Where's Dalton Slim? Well, now, how in the world would I know? I know they were following you because I was right behind them. Is that your claim to the strike Bailey was telling me about? So Big Bill told you, huh? Yeah, and I don't blame him for not wanting the news to get out. I feel the same way he does about gold strikes. Now, come on, Canball, where'd they go? Uh, they hit the leather for Crestview. Uh, thanks for recording my claim. Here's $50 for your trouble. Oh, thanks. Say, uh, I just soon keep this quiet till I get my men and equipment up to Bear Ridge, Savvy. What makes you think you're going to get your men to Bear Ridge? Oh, why not? You and I know that claim doesn't belong to you. Oh, this recording says it does. Maybe it does, but it rightfully belongs to Cannonball, and you know it. <coughs> but it's recorded by me. And if you know the law, you know I've got full claim to it, no matter who found it. Not if I can prove you jumped that claim. Oh, but you can't. What makes you think I can't? Because Cannonball was in town only this morning, and if he had a claim, he had plenty of time to record it. That remains for the court to decide. In the meantime, unless you're willing to withdraw your rights to that claim, I can throw you in the jail. Now, which is it going to be? I'm keeping it, Crandall. And until you can get the judge to sign a warrant on the evidence you have, just try tossing me in the clink. You'll never get the judge to sign a warrant, Sheriff. Yeah, I know that. What do you aim to do? I was only trying to pull a bluff. Steve. Why don't you leave me here alone? Can't be helped, sis. I gotta go back to Bear Ridge with Hutch. He's rounded up the men and equipment now. Steve, 
Why you were gone, I heard people talking. What about? You and Hutch Dalton. I can't understand why you associate with a bunch of cutthroats. You don't know what you're talking about. Please, break away before it's too late. Look, sis, I know what I'm doing. All right, Steve, I'm going. By the next day. Go ahead. I didn't ask you to come here. on leaving Crestview? Isn't there another stage before Thursday? What's wrong? Oh, I, I thought I'd find my brother here, but I've just discovered he's gone. That's too bad. This town's gonna be downright ugly without you around here to sort of brighten things up a bit. Sarah, I can't stay and make Crestview more attractive for you, Lucky. Well, why? You couldn't miss that Thursday stage, could you? Maybe I could get you a job. If worse comes to worse, I might swear you in as my deputy. <laughs> Good old Dan, you'll have to guide me right. If we lose our way, the cattle will stray, and we'll lose them all tonight. Cause all and water's gone. We'll have to keep the cattle moving on. Get along, doggies. We're moving off of this rain. Never thought as how I'd make a change. But the blue skies have failed, so we're on our last trail. Underneath these dusty skies, this ain't tears in my eyes. Just sand from. Disguise. Look. Ain't that Dalton and his gang? Sure looks like it. Looks like he's trying to shortcut through the rain. Let's find out what that Jasper's up to. <laughs> Brings you up this neck of the woods, Dalton. Going up to Bear Ridge. Mind if we shortcut across your range? What do you aim to do after you get up there? Oh, just a little hunting. Hunting with that pack train? You happen to know what they might be hunting for a cannonball? Sure do, boss. They're going up after that gold. They trim up there. What? Never mind how it happened. This is private property, Hutch. You can't go through. Look, Bailey. What possible difference could it make now? You heard what he said. Get off and make it pronto. Oh, you're still itching for a little gun smoke, eh, Wilson? Maybe you'd like to pick up where we left off yesterday. Well, that's pretty tall spouting. Seems you've already got your mitt on your gun. Get out, you four-flushing road agent. Four-flushing road agent, am I?
all right, boss? Sort of shook up. They just creased me. We'd better go back and see how badly Joe and Dusty are banged up. Hurt bad, Dusty? Got me in the shoulder. What about Joe? Old Joe cashed in. Cashed in? Yeah. I'll make that Dalton pay for this. Hold it, Bob. We got a bigger job to do first. What's more important than wiping out that rattler? If Dalton or any of his pack get to Bear Ridge, there'll be another gold strike and hundreds of lives will be at stake. I know we can stop them from going through here, but they can get the ridge through Little Creek Pass. Not if I get there first. But that pass is public property. You can't stop that anybody. That pass is from... the only other way to get to Bear Ridge, and I ain't aiming to leave it open for Hutch Dalton or any of his gang. Cannonball. Yes, sir. Go fetch the old dock up to Little Creek Pass for Dusty. Yes, sir. We'll look after Joe. Come on, boys. That ought to do it, boys. Now let's see Hutch Dalton reach Bear Ridge and strike pay dirt. I aim to see him do it all right. Six foot of it. Boot Hill. Me too, Bob. Say, that must be Dalton Cannonball now. What do you think you're doing, Bailey? Locking this pass to keep Dalton from reaching Bad Ridge and then throwing the whole valley into a gold rush. This pass is public property. You've got no right stopping anybody from coming through here. Listen, Crandall, Dalton's plugged one of our men and I... I know all about it. I met Cannonball going into town. That's why I hightailed it up here. I'm sorry, but you'll have to tear it down. You wouldn't insist, would you, Crandall? Yes, if I have to. I wouldn't if I was you. Look, fellas, I haven't any more use for Dalton and his gang than you have. But you can't stop lawlessness with more lawlessness. I'm keeping this pass blocked. Dalton isn't going to reach Bear Ridge, not if I can help it. And if you try to stop us, we'll run you right out of this part of the country. Here comes Dalton and his wolves now. Hold it, Dalton, you're going to run into hot lead. Looks like we'll have to blast our way through. Maybe not. That lawman being here may help. Sheriff, since when's Little Creek Pass become Bailey's private stamping grounds? Nobody said it was. I've already told Bailey he'd have to tear down this barricade. And I'm saying it stays up. You know the law, Crandall. I'm demanding clear right of way to Bear Ridge. You gonna use your authority or do we use these? Don't get yourself in an uproar. I aim to see this pass is clear for anybody that wants to use it. But that don't mean you and your gang are coming through. Oh, uh, why not? Because I'm putting you under arrest for trespassing fenced off property and killing one of Bailey's men. Bring enough bracelets for all of us? Get a couple of ropes, boys. It's a pleasure. Anywhere? Let's get up on that knoll and pick them off from above. Lay low when we get up there. What do you suppose they're up to? Your guess is as good as mine, Bob. with a six gun. We'll have to get our rifles. We'll never make it. They'll get us before we can get to our horses. I'll make a break for mine and draw their fire. I'd be as good as suicide, Randall. So will stay in here. Get out.
Nice work, Sheriff. Let's get them all rounded up. Oh, but Dolan Slim. Let's form a posse and go after them. Wait a minute. Let's get these hombres into town before they cause any more trouble. I say that can wait. Let's form a posse and go after Dolan and Slim. Look, Wilson, why don't you let me handle this? What's the matter? You afraid somebody'll steal your thunder? No, I'm afraid that hot head of yours is going to get you and the rest of these boys into another jam. I say we're going into town. So you can show off to the folks. See here, Wilson, I don't... Take it easy, you two. All this pound is not going to get you anywhere. It's Sheriff Wright, Bob, about this hot head of yours. I'll say one thing, though, about this honorary top hand of mine. Seeing as how Joe and he were partners, I see no reason why he's not entitled to go along. It's ought to even up the score. Suits me. Under one condition. What's that? That you obey orders when I swear you in as my deputy. Good enough for me, Sheriff. How about swearing the rest of us in, Crandall? Joe was our friend, too. And if Dalton rounds up the rest of his gunmen, why, it might take more than you two to even up things. The boys are right, Sheriff. Sounds like a good idea. What do you think, Bob? Darn tootin'. Come on, then. We're up and we're ready and hitting the trail. And side by side we'll ride and we'll never fail to avenge the wrong and still sing a song as we ride. Get him inside. Hey, Bob, where's Big Bill? He's still at the range. Well, what happened? Ask him. Wait a minute. Business before pleasure. Is that an order? You said you'd obey him, didn't you? Now get in there and lock him up, deputy. Lucky, what happened? Who are those men you brought in? A bunch of gunslingers. But their leaders, Dalton and Slim, got away. Yeah, look, Kacha, I think we ought to hit the breeze. Oh, don't be a fool. This is the safest place, I tell you. That dumb sheriff will never think of looking for us here in your sister's room. I ain't so sure about that. Besides, he'll be heading out of town pretty soon. Hunting for us everywhere but here. But I'll get them. Put them where they belong. But what if they should decide to shoot it out? That's all right with me. But one of you might lose his life. What are you so interested? Don't you want me to go out and get those two road agents? I just don't want to see anything happen to you, that's all. Don't worry your pretty head about that. Well, I guess I'd better get in and swear on my new deputies. Don't. The whole town will be on us. What's he doing in my room? Never mind about that. What were you and that sheriff talking about? The murder in the Bailey Range. Get away from the door. Where did you think you were going? Tell the sheriff where you two are hiding. Now, look, I ain't even to let you do any talk. Out of my way. Wait a minute. There's something you're not thinking about. You wouldn't like to see your own brother strung up, would you? Suppose those Bailey punches stirred up this town to give us a necktie party. Punch is right. They'd string us up, sis. But if I let you go, that'll only mean more gun smoke. I ain't aiming to fight it out. Well, will you slip out of town, stay under cover till I get a chance to talk to Lucky? Sure, sure. Come on, Slim. We'll hide out in the cabin in Antelope Canyon. I better keep this so you won't be tempted. Man is telling me he saw Dalton Slim sneaking in the back door of the commercial house about a half an hour ago. Come on. We can't shoot it out. I haven't got a gun. Duck around the other side and through the basement. You two cover the back. You stay here. What room Slim and Dalton in? Two and three. Thanks. They ain't in there. Where are they? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Where are they? They might be in Slim's sister's room. What room's that? Room four. We'll see. Come on, boys. We'll have to make a break for it. We can't. Shots will bring them all out before we get to our horses. You're Slim's sister. Now I see why you're so anxious to find out what I aim to do. But, Lucky, you don't understand. I understand all I need to. Lucky, please listen to I've me. I've heard enough already. But if you're alone... I haven't got time. But if I told you where I could find Slim and Dalton, would that be proof enough I was in the level? 
Where? You find them in a cabin up in Antelope Canyon. Come on. Bibbs, Curly! This gives us a nice chance to prepare a little party for them. What do you aim to do? Round up all the men we've got in Dry Gulch. And wipe out the sheriff and those Bailey Wranglers. Well, maybe we ought to wait till Madge has a chance to talk to that sheriff. Don't be a fool. They'll never stop until they find us. And I aim to make sure they know right where we're gonna be. Got a dead gum badge and can't use it. Doggone hoffs run off and left me. And for goodness sakes, I'm my... Patch. We lay low at the hideout in Dry Gulch. <laughs> it worked. I told you would be heading for Antelope Canyon. Come on. It looks like your lady fair deliberately sent us on a wild goose chase. I can't believe that. Maybe that open door is only a trick. I think I'll take a look. Are you sure this is the only cabin in the canyon? You bet I'm sure, and I won't need this thing to track down the two killers that plugged Joe. Someday his darn hothead's gonna be the death of him. What do you aim to do, Sheriff? We're gonna pick up the trail of those two coyotes and follow them till we get them. Come on. Here. Where's the sheriff and the rest of the fellas? What's up? What's up? Well, I located old Dalton and Slim. Where are they? Well, you never would have guessed. I almost got killed myself trying to find out. Here I was, and I was... All right, all right. Never mind the details. Where are they? Never mind the details. Why, you ain't even decent enough to be polite. Why, do you know what they'd have done to me if they'd have caught me? Why, they'd have skint me alive and hung my hide on the... All right, all right. Get to the point. Where are they? Oh, good gracious of miles. I ain't even gonna talk to you. The sheriff's coming. I'll tell him. Howdy, Sheriff. Howdy, Cannonball. Well, I know old Don Slim's hiding. Where? Oh, some little hideout in Dry Gulch. Dry Gulch, huh? Wait a minute. What for? How do you know this isn't the wrong steer to another wild goose chase? No, sir. I heard Dalton tell Slim of his own mouth. When? Well, when you fellas left town. Well, I trailed him back at Oasis. And I heard old Dalton tell Slim, he says, uh, that's where we are holed in. I can't figure out a smart umbre like Dalton spilling information like that out in the open. Well, listen, I heard him, I tell you. I don't doubt that, Cannonball. Only I'm wondering if he would have let you heard that, unless he wanted you to. That's funny. You're taking the girl's tip off just like that. And poor old Cannonball, 
seem to doubt him. What do you mean by that? I mean that you're deliberately trying to hold us back to protect that girl's brother. Fellas, are you going to stick with this moonstruck sheriff or ride with me to Dry Gulch? Square Joe's killing. Sorry, boys, but I couldn't let that hot-headed ramrod of yours lead you into a trap. How do you know it's a trap? I don't. We're going to Dry Gulch, all right, but not the way he was going to lead you. Cannonball, you stay with him till he comes to. Come on. They ought to be coming along by now. Maybe Cannonball missed him. That isn't likely. He knew where to find him. Just like I thought, that canyon'd make a perfect trap. Maybe you're right, Sheriff. But we can't catch Dalton by staying here looking at this canyon. We're not gonna stay here. Let's have a look at it from above. Six hundred. Six hundred one. Oh! Six hundred two. Oh, six hundred three. Oh. Where is that, Sheriff? He's gone with the boys at Dry Gulch. How long they been gone? How long? Six hundred and three seconds. And, buddy, you sure had a long nap. Dry Gulch. Well, I might as well finish that nap. Leave your horses here, boys. Time. I don't see nobody ambushed anywhere. We'll stick it out a little longer. We've got to stop him or they're killing him. Something's gone wrong. Bring it up. It's like we're in a spot. Yeah, keep them busy. I'll be right back.
You hurt bad? No, they just crease me. Crease you? Man, them suckers took a bunch of pot shots at me. Oh, let's don't go over that again. Run on and see what's happened. I'll be all right. All right, fellas, the show's over. Drop your gun. <laughs> Say, what's going on around here? Dalton and Lucky are fighting it out down here. Come on. Nice work, Lucky. How about the others? Got all of them. Bob's gonna be all right, Lucky. Good. Yeah, and here's better news. I was with Slim when he cashed in his chips. He swears that Madge was telling the truth when she sent us to that cabin in Antelope Canyon. That's good news. Sure is, Lucky. Now I can go back and face old Big Bill. Boy, we sure nipped that gold rush, didn't we? Come on, let's get him out of here. Get along. Never thought as how I'd make a change. But the blue skies have failed, so we're on our last trail. Underneath these dusty skies, this ain't tears. Sand from these dusty skies. 